So I've had a bunch of people hit me up about my camper that's for sale. It's a 1983, it's 19 foot, uh, redone on the front. I'm gonna do a walk around for it so that you guys can see a video. It's located in Greenville, South Carolina. I'm asking $4,700. I'm gonna take offers as well, but please don't hit me up if you want to pay like $1,500 or $2,000. There's plenty of uh, horrible smelling mildewy uh, coachmen's and other travel trailers out there. Uh, we're gonna do a walk around. I'm gonna show you from the front to the back, then we'll go inside. Cover for a couple of months. Uh, it is winterized right now. Um, it's gonna have a seven pin with trailer brakes on it. Inside here are two 20 pound tanks. Both of them are new. Inside there is an 850 cold cranking amp marine battery. I put this, this uh, spare on here, but the tire hits, so uh, that stays. It also has um, the Harbor Freight uh, sway bar on there that works great. Um, you have these uh, old school single pane balance windows that come up with the, the cover. Um, this originally had um, bunk bed up here in the top and then bunk beds in the back and you're going to see we've taken the whole front out of it. Um, the other issue here on the outside is the awning is on its last legs. It will need replaced probably another two years. On the back here, the uh, cap came off, but it still rolls out and uh, locks and it, it works awesome. So you got an outlet back here. Uh, it's got brand new tires that we put on it and uh, love the uh, other oh, owner had Jeep hubcaps that he had on there. Inside here, I've repacked the bearings as well as they have uh, bearing buddies put on it. Uh, a couple of dents and dings. Of course, you know, this is from 1983. So uh, you're gonna have some uh, dents and things. I've also gone and replaced all of the exterior lights to LED and then the bulbs inside the brake lights are LED uh, bulbs. Put some uh, reflective stripes on here too. I mean, you're pulling this giant thing down the road and for some reason people don't see you. Um, also replaced all of these guys here. Uh, resealed those behind there as well as uh, got the leveling stuff on the uh, back part sorry the leveling stuff that's up on uh, the roof all the bolts and all that the whole back seams uh, I've gotten that water heater works um, I'm not sure how big the tank is in there I would say it's 60 to 80 gallons we can go three days without uh, filling up water what hot water heater works great no issues with that um, there's your windows in the back. Got some, uh, the original owner hit some trees here. So you're going to see some, some dents, but other than that, no big issue. Uh, there is your dump station stuff. Again, we've had this for two years, never pooped in it. So, uh, I am not a fan of cleaning out poo. So, uh, this window here has been replaced with plexiglass. Got a couple of scratches on it. Not that big a deal. And, uh, again, that is that on the top here. I have put some of those uh, black, I guess you, what, I don't know what they're called, I can't remember, but uh, those are great because you can keep the uh, tops open and uh, no rain gets on it. I've actually removed the, uh, what is it, the one in the bathroom, it's got max air fan in there. Also, all the capacitors in the air conditioning have been replaced. There's no electronics in this. This is the original air conditioner from the 80s so a lot of them have electronics this only has capacitors in it got the stabilizers on there old school stabilizers all right i'm gonna hit stop then we'll go inside i feel like i'm doing one of these reveals <laughs> welcome to your new house so uh i'm not the best craftsman uh put up some paneling actually uh ripped up from here to the front and on the floor all that's been ripped up, replaced with new foam, uh, new insulation, new one inch uh, foam as well. Redid all the windows, caulked all those. Um, so you can see that's all replaced. Actually, the reason that this window has been replaced with plexiglass is some kid threw a rock through it, bounced across the couch, and then went into this wall and put a big hole in it. So I replaced it with that barnyard back. Kind of gives it a different feel, breaks it up. Uh, there's the sway bar thing I was talking about. So we uh, got these uh, glue and stick 
tile things. So we got the couch. This uh, couch turns into a futon. So you just slide it out and you got a bed there for two people. Got an autumn in there. Have the AC, or not the AC, but I have the, uh, what's this called? The refrigerator running. And as you can see, got some really good temperature in there. Let me show you. It's, and this is original. All this stuff's original. It's amazing. So there's that. I don't even have fans in there. It keeps everything good. There's the freezer. Here is your air conditioner. So that's up here. I'll show you these cool buttons. This is, I plasti dipped this because it was that old yellow. So the, the door from the uh, refrigerator hit that. So that's that scrape. So, but yeah, there's your dials. This uh, does your airflow cooling vent. And then you have your air temperature there. You just set that and then it, you know, I usually keep it about right there and it keeps it about 72, 74 in here. Um, we kept the kitchen original. Uh, the last owners had a toaster oven right here, so I took it out, put some uh, little pieces of wood there, and uh, we absolutely love this uh, backsplash because it's got like cool flowers and it's all retro. Uh, put in a new faucet up here, so that's pretty cool, and then we got a water saver on there. Um, doesn't really have a leveler, so we have this little guy that we, uh, of course I'm sitting on the street, it's not level. So I put it right here and that levels everything out for me. Got paper towels. This little guy here comes out and goes in there like that. So you have some stuff there. Got some great storage down here. Tons of stuff. Some of this stuff can go with you when you take it. Um, all these drawers work. This guy down here is the only one that looks like it's got maybe some water damage on it or something. And let's see. There's your heater. That works great. There's a vent here, a vent in the bathroom, and a vent in the bedroom. So, like I said before, there was a bunk bed here. We took that out, and then that was the window out there. So, you got the windows here and here. Got a window there, and there is your water pump when you're off grid. Turn that guy on. It'll pump the water out. Uh, stove. There's no pilot light on the stove itself, so... Uh, you turn the gas on, use one of these guys, and you're good to go. I'll show you that those work. There you go. Look at that. And then, I got the stove pilot light on today. Let's see if you can see that in there. So the pilot light's on. Turn it up to, say, 350. And it worked earlier today. It's got a heat. The pilot light kicks on and heats this little guy up there. And it turns that on. And then it should kick the uh, oven on. But I'll come back to that. Because sometimes it just takes a little bit to kick on. It's not instant like a, a new one. So I'll close that and let that go while we talk some other stuff. So you got a window on the top. Window on the bottom. It has the original mattresses in it so if you want to try you know change those feel free i don't care i just lay on them i put you know sheets and stuff on them um i put a little buddy heater too in here um it still has the original inverter also so you have circuit breakers and uh fuses for your 12 volt got some extra fuses in there all the cool stuff put that back up in there I'll come back to that later. Um, I'll stop and open this up so that you can see underneath here is going to be all of uh, your water tanks and everything. We replaced all LEDs, and you're going to see here that this damage was from the original owners. I just painted over it because I haven't redone anything in the back. So from here back, I was going to replace. And on the floor, about this much of the floor back there is really soft. So uh, I'm gonna was gonna replace that, but if you buy the camper, you don't even have to worry about it because there's no mildew, no mold, no mice, no bugs. I mean, if you want to keep it like that, you can. This little light's cool that we put in. It starts blue, and then you can turn it as bright. But all the lights have been replaced. They're all LED. I got some soft LEDs back here, and then these guys are brighter, and then you can do the ones. 
then we got LEDs up here. And then you have the old school 12 volt up here. So you got that, then you got your fan, then you got your light and fan. You can shut that all off. And this is the shower, hello. So the old school shower in there, it all works. Um, the only issue is this little guy here, you know, doesn't hold up like that. So, but the uh, valve on the top works and the uh, mixer and all that stuff. And let me show you under here. That's all that. This has been replaced. That line there leaked on me. We were going to replace the toilet. Uh, you get these for like 170 bucks, but it still works for us. It's good. And then there's in there. And the other owners put this in here. It's a little soft underneath here. So, you know, you may have to replace that, but it works great for us. And I think that's it. We open this up to put longer things in there because they don't come out of the doors on there. So that's kind of, this is all your storage underneath here. Let's see if you can see back there. Somebody told me if you put bars of soap and dryer sheets, uh, what is it? Irish spring and dryer sheets, it keeps the mice out. And that's the old uh, floor. There's a door back there. Uh, it does not open anymore. So I'm being 100% transparent for you because like I said, this is from 1983. It's not going to be new. So there's your water pump. It does look like it's been new and replaced. There's your water heater. You got your bypass. That still works. And then there is your tank, water tank back there. And I'll stop the video and I'll open this up so you can see a little bit better. Alrighty, so this is a 30 amp. So you have your 30 amp plug that runs in here. So that's what that black cord is. And then there's your uh, city water inlet right there that comes in. And then that's your filler hose that goes in. I wanna say this is 60 gallons. I don't know what it is. And then you have your inverter, all your wiring, hot water heater, like I said, wheel well. And then that's your heater uh, vent that comes out right here, water pump. And also, you know, there's holes in the wall. Haven't patched those. If you want to patch them, feel free. But uh, as you can see, you know, that's, that's the camper. Got some little storage down here. Hey, there's that charger I was looking for. And let's see. And we have some hangers here. Hang some stuff on. There's a little shelf back here. It works great. Put some carpet in that. And let's see. Oh, the oven's on. Let's go check it out. See it in there? So the oven still works. Like I said, all original. It's crazy. Stuff's from 1983. It all still works. So I'm going to shut that off. And then when you're traveling, you're going to shut the pilot off. Uh, access panel to get underneath the uh, shower. And uh, let's see what else. Oh, you guys can have these too. They're uh, cool little lights. They're uh, not 12 volt, but you got to plug them in right there. GF GFCI, whatever that's called. And uh, these are like daytime lights or makeup lights. And then you have storage up here. I think that's pretty much it. We have some blinds here. We don't put blinds on this because it has a cover on the outside that you just uh, cover up the front window. Trash can. Another access panel will be painted black. we have this here that with the anti-slip on it to make it more homely and then uh come out here have your screen door right there and i think that's it have any questions let me know there's a 1983 coachman travel trailer dual axle with electronic brakes 
and we actually took this on a 2600 mile trip this um, summer went through uh, North Carolina South Carolina Tennessee Iowa Nebraska Illinois Missouri so we hit 10 states and it was great pulled like a champ want to do a video of the uh, roof real quick oh I forgot to show you guys the fan in the bathroom I'll show you that also on the fridge I forgot to tell you there is a uh, it's got like a dyno new electronic ignition on there I'll put it in the comments but it's all aluminum roof and like I said we put all that lap seal auto leveling stuff on there and I speak of or spoke of so you have two speeds in reverse to suck uh, air out and then you have uh, four speeds to suck air in so we'll do medium out for reverse we usually when we're camping we always keep it in reverse just to bring air in that's high off and we'll do high inward also this used to have a door on it and it always got in the way so we took that off and we put up this is the privacy curtain when you're in there and this was actually uh in this area right? and kept the you know had privacy for the bedroom so the holes are still there so we took that channel off and put it in here and then that just tucks away back there behind the, the vent. So that's on high, and then it goes all the way to low, and that brings air in. And this does not have in there the cover. Took that off. Shut that off. We have the original um, fire extinguisher, but you do have a new one that's installed right there. Have another hook to put your dog's stuff, whatever things you need. All right, that's the uh, 1983 Coachman uh, 19 footer uh, that we have for sale for $4,700. Um, hit me up in the comments or hit me on Facebook Messenger. I can do a uh, personal walk around from it. We've had people um, as far as away from Texas that, that's interested in this uh, camper to take uh, and, and ship it. I don't even know how you would do that. Um, also, some folks from Atlanta, you know, three, four hours away. So if you're interested, let me know. And uh, we're looking for a brand new home, a good home for our uh, 1983 coachman. Have a great day and thanks for watching.